Still very much the hero of choice in this matchup. Against Undead and against Human, we've been seeing the Keeper less and less, but against Orc, he is still the go-to hero. I think especially Moon is really, 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 really good with Keeper, really fits his playstyle. Looking for opportunities on the map. Oh, first big last. Hit does go to focus. All these hit last hits are a big deal. Also, the items are Keeper with Mantle and Gloves. Already nicely equipped. If you get those items early, they will have a lot of value over time throughout the course of the game. So far, this is looking very standard for a moon. Keeper hunts. Later on, expected with an expansion. Scout peon. Oh, I was like, can you de aggro the creeps by hopping in the gold mine? But that didn't quite work out, so that one's gonna go down. Maybe a slight mistake walking the peon into the creeps. Not having that for scouting now anymore is a bit annoying. Keeper also got the staff, and this is, of course, the calm phase of the game. Although, still a bit stressful for the orc, especially as far as the grunts go. If the grunts get caught out on the map with Keeper hunts and the devious entangle, then those will quickly fall. There's a wisp here as well. Moon. Perhaps thinking about an AP push, but that's not really happening. Because uh, we see in the overlay, the Tree of Life is already coming up. It's gonna be the expansion. So this is uh, Moon just going completely by the book standard. The creep here by Focus, by the way, was like before we'll go for the Merc Camp. And now he has early Dispel against the Keeper, which is so nice to have. Speed Scroll as well to get out. And there's the Abolish. Trying to save the Berserker. Oh, they can block this one with the Treants. That would be perfect for Moon. Speed scroll is over. Berserker here perhaps in a bit of trouble, but focus with a clean escape, saving everything here. I feel like this is a very good game for focus so far. By the way, opted for Mirror Image. We'll also help him with scouting. Now having the Shadow Hunter on the way. Oh, he may have forgotten to remake the shop though. The lodge coming up. And now the shop. Oh yeah, the shop is indeed quite late. Ooh, that's annoying for focus. He can't heal for a long time. And a lot of his units are indeed very hurt. Oh wait, he may have just still had some heal selves. Oh, that's kind of a big deal. Did he have enough heal selves to heal up the units again? The blade is healing up. Scouting around. What about the rest of the units? Oh, I did have some heals out. Here comes the next attack, though. Keeper fully healed up once again from the Moon Wells. Acid Bomb waiting for the Entangle, but the Grunt's in a great position here. Grunt's holding the front line with the Berserker still alive in the back. That would be the big kill here. Going for Heal Wave first. Should not save this Grunt, though. The Blade Master not being at home now. Pretty annoying. He was going for the item at the shop and he did get it from the marketplace but now the entangle is gonna find the kill isn't it yeah just barely and moon is gonna tp out now if focus had saved the berserker this would have been good for him all things considered but losing the berserker here that one stepped forward a bit too far and moon found the punish right away nature's blessing is researched and the expansion will be Beginning to mine very soon. Lake Bass is looking strong though. He's got good items. And about to reach level 3. The moon is creeping the Merc Camp here with the Tree of Life. This is gonna slow down the expansion even more. It's kind of a neat touch though. Can creep this without taking any damage on the units. Alchemist. Seems a bit on a level though. 1.3 only. While well, Focus is still waiting for his bestiary, that of course was cancelled earlier on, so raiders are joining late. Moon somewhat surprisingly, I was about to say, not solo creeping the Arcans, but now he is. Level 3 normally for the heal spray is very important. Oh, now picking up experience again, I think that's a 
bit of a mistake here. Got some good items. Damage items for the Keeper, Ring for the Alk. And now the Shadow Hunter is also getting his much desired solo experience. Big mana pose still on him. Like, Bass was holding the skill point here, by the way. Is he not going crit? I'm a big fan of mirror image. Perhaps so is focus. It certainly shouldn't be Windwalk. Oh, he's looking for the expo cancel. And with the mirror image, he should absolutely be able to. Look at that attack speed, by the way. What the hell? That's an easy cancel right there. Lots of time bought for focus. There's lots of orcs these days trying to counter expand on tier 2. That so far he has not attempted. Get another cancel. Yeah, this was like at least a minute bot, right? Of mining time. Successful maneuver here by the blade who does have level 2 mirror image. The year is 2024 and orcs don't skill crit anymore. Well, most still do, but the fact that some orcs sometimes don't skill crit is still kind of amazing. Oh, he's got the consumables, by the way. That's a big deal. Heal scroll and invuln. Seems to me like focus is in a good spot here. He's got strong heroes. And Moon still doesn't have that expansion mining. Of course, the two base income is very much needed to support the mass strategy. Also some upgrades. Arch is about to be on 1-1, one, one, which is decent. Once they get 2-2 two, two is when they really start to look impressive. But Focus is not counter-expanding. I he's pretty broke. Ah, now he is. Now he is. Okay, I see. There was a peon down there. Now we got the Great Hall coming. Focus doesn't have quite yet 50 supply, but he's got Serpent Wards, which are very good, especially against hunts. Arch is trying to take out the Serpent Wards from range. We have a couple of Detonates also coming in. Those Detonates will certainly be needed against the Blade Master, who's got so much mana, by the way. Splitting the images. They do give a bit of experience, by the way. 30 apiece. And it's going to take a lot of Wisps. Okay, Blade Master now out of mana. I think he's going to have one more. Round of mirror image in a little bit. Heat spray is working out well. There we go. Mirror images again. More wisps again needed. It seems like the Oak army is hardly taking any damage here. Still waiting for the heal scrolls to be used. Moon should use his pretty soon. Focus used his already. There goes the Night of Heal Scroll. And this last bit of heal spray as well. Focus taking a good fight here. The mana potion. Absolutely wonderful to have on the Shadow Hunter. Alchemist getting surrounded there with the Ensnare. Looks like he's dead. Can he be saved somehow? Oh, with the Treants trying to save him, but didn't quite free enough trees. Make enough Treants. This Alchemist there is stuck. So is the Blade Master, though. Oh, hold on. Oh, the Blade Master dies first, so does the Alchemist level 4 for the Shadow Hunter. That's kind of better for the Orc because level 4 Shadow is really good for the Heal Spray. But still, also the Blade, of course, going down. Focus has the money for the Tavern Res. Despite not being mining from the expansion yet. Close fight here, but I think Focus is getting the better end of things. Shadowhunter is finally out of mana. Took a long time. Oh, he's saving the Raider with the Purge. Nicely done. And now the expansion is about to be up. And 2 base, 2 base is definitely in favor of the Orc. Blade has already returned from a long night at the tavern. And now Moon seems to be in a bit of trouble also because Focus is getting shop control, picks up the next invuln and heal scroll. Focus now has plenty of gold thanks to that expansion. Time to heal up. And from here on, it seems like Focus is greatly favored. Even 
giving a clarity to the Blade Master. If Focus was to fight back at home in the defending position, it's going to be much harder for Moon to have the Wisps ready for the detonates against the mirror images. Though we see some Wisps indeed coming. As the Alchemist is also trying to rejoin. There's still no shop for Moon, by the way, so no staff, no clarities, no Moonstone. Oh, and the Keeper is getting caught. Kind of. But it's hard to reach him here in this position. Heal scroll, protection scroll. I think Moon only has this one fight left. I think if this push doesn't kill the expansion, Focus should be far ahead. He's got a shop coming, he's got a burrow coming. Serpent boards will be set up. Okay. Some more mercs hired as well. And off we go. Good split from the mirror images, not allowing for easy detonates. Those detonates might rather be landing up, uh, ending up on the Shadowhunter. Getting his mana also quite valuable. Even the Kota Beast now coming in. Looks like a beautiful engagement by Focus. <clears throat> coming in from many different directions. Late Master hurt right away though. Oh, that's a bit annoying at the start of the fight. And Shadowhunter doesn't have mana for the heal wave. Oh, now he does. He used the mana potion, but the shop was cancelled. I think that was a really big deal. By Moon here, cancelling the shop, preventing more mana to be given to the Shadow, who is now completely dry. Late Master very hurt! Oh my god! God, almost not in time with the invuln. At the very last millisecond. Moon might still be waiting, making this push work. Blade has to fall back and tangle. Finds him and he gets the kill. The purge is too late and focus. Just barely not able to defend here and hold. That was the last chance for Moon indeed. If that push hadn't worked out, focus certainly would have taken this game. With his heroes becoming so strong in the end game. But barely enough it was. What was the mistake here by Focus? I think not making the shop earlier at the expansion and also not ma making it in a safer spot, perhaps a mistake, but there wasn't much of an error. Good play by both. Both here on eye level. Close game for a long time. I thought Focus would hold, to be honest. I'm kind of surprised that Moon almost won that fight easily. It looked kind of one-sided in the end. The Wisp detonates here counted for a lot. And also he was taking like seven archers or something, right? Splitting them from the army and canceling the shop. I think canceling the shop was absolutely huge. Yeah, I think that was the biggest mistake. The shop being too far forward. And maybe not enough Serpent Wards set up before the fight. Maybe should have just been spamming those Serpent Wards have six up right away, protecting the shop. I guess there were some uh, moves possible for Focus to do this a bit better. Maybe he was getting a bit complacent, feeling like he had a great exchange there at the Anime Expo, which he kind of did, except for losing the blade. But Moon here does take the first map. Map number two is going to be Northern Isles. Has always been considered a really good orc map in this matchup. Here it's going to be not so easy for Moon to find the right strat. Thank you very much, by the way. First two subs of the day. Side with 66 months. Micro Jordan with a 34. It says, much love, Rima Dima. Missed you. And Nilos as well with the resub. Thank you guys very much. Wait, did I say Impy Dude? Did I forget about Impy Dude? Impy Dude as well, with the resub. Oh no man, I'm getting Alzheimer's. I hope I did. Here we go, map number two. Northern Isles. Moon bottom left, focus top right. Moon here with a 1-0 lead. One more map and he's gonna be in the winner's match for first place. And he's taking a bit of a gamble here. Ancient of War creep at the orange camp. If it's uninterrupted, gives you instant level 2 and a bit consumable, really good. But the orc can prevent this. If he sent out an early peon scout, pulls the creeps, blade master is coming with a speed scroll, especially fly, I remember. Oftentimes played an aggressive build. 
being in the Nidal's face right away. Fog is oftentimes, though, a bit more passively minded. Wants to creep up a bit more at the start, stack up the blade. And that means that the blade won't have instant uh, shop and speed scroll access. We're just going to make this a lot safer for Moon. But if the peon pull still is there, then maybe there's an opportunity of a focus. We'll see what the peon is going to be able to do. Quite a few Nidos, by the way, recently in this matchup. I've been playing a lot of bears. Also, Demon Hunter first. Mundo still trusts in his old school Keeper Hunts expansion. Alright, first big move of the game right away here at around two minutes. The peon pull here can be a big deal. Still on the creeps immensely. And the blade is on the way. I was trying to see the last, I didn't quite get it. Keeper gets a one of mana, so that's a sick early game item. And the peon goes down. Good start so far for Moon. But if the blade gets this one Tuscar, then it might still be an okay position. Oh, but Moon might be falling back away from the Tuscar. Doesn't want to give the opportunity to the Blade Master. Smart play so far by Moon, expecting the blade to show up. Not just expecting it, you also saw it with the Scouting Wisp. And now Moon, I mean, Focus is, li is at least trying to get the Moonwell cancel, which he should. Dude, one of Mana Steel early game is so sick. Look at the mana difference already. Could use another charge if he wants to. Saves a bit of Moon Juice as well. In many situations, this is the best early game item. There we go, the Blade Master out of mana already. Moon's tech, of course, behind the Orc. That is pretty much normal. Wait, he's not teching though. Both will staff. What's Moon doing? 550 gold. Now he's teching. Oh, he forgot about it for a long time. That's at least like 15 seconds, maybe even more. When the blade is coming for the last hit. Great steal here by Focus. I was pretending to be retreating. <clears throat> but indeed, he was coming to get the last hit. Oh, I might even get the archer here. Oh, Moonwell. Whew. Just in time. And the Keeper is stuck on level 1 for a long time. That's kind of the Northern Isles classic. That's the prime reason why this is a good work map. is because the Keeper has a difficult early game. Only now. Reaching that level up. I guess it was a mistake by Moon. When he was at the shop, not to use the Wand of Mana Steel before retreating. If he had done that, then there would have been no Wind Walk, no Steel, no Item Grab. Small touches making a big difference. Hey, Master is looking a little underleveled here because of his early aggression. Moon gets to creep the natural fairly easily. That might be level 3 for him then. Which would mean that the Keeper is no longer under level. Is it enough actually? Late Master showing up a bit too late. And the Sentry Wards here nicely protecting the Night Elf. Archer would be level 2, I think. Ah, nope, never mind. Almost. Ooh, important last hits here. Blade Master trying to steal. More last hits. The train is enough for level 2. And the one of mana steel finally used. Oh, and the healing cancelled. Oh, that's annoying. That was the last heal salve 
Blade Master now gonna be hurt for a long time, but the Keeper also not yet level 3. That's a big deal. He's using just one little creep. And he's using the staff. To come for the Aras. The Wisp here had the perfect scout. And here goes the Keeper. Wait, where is the Keeper going? He's trying to link up with the Huntresses. And come in from the side. Going for the Shadow Hunter right away. Alchemist coming in as well. As a bomb and tangle. Shadow Hunter in big trouble right away. If he gets entangled again, he's dead. Keeper, not sure if he can engage, but I guess he can. A few more right clicks coming through, and that's level 3. Oh, Moon with a beautiful play here. With the staff on the Wisp, and he's got more entangled ready. But we do have a Shaman now, finally. Good acid bomb, though. That Shaman might still be dead, even with the Purge. Alchemist in position to block right away. Really good play here by Moon. Trying to break the lost streak right now. Focus on a five game win streak against Moon. But Moon hasn't expanded this whole time. Despite all the great kills here and this wonderful creep deck that Moon found, he didn't expand yet. He's going for a second Ancient of War. He might have just queued the expansion. He just. Ah, no, ah, it's, it's up already. Whoops. Sorry. I didn't see that one. Shadowhunter at least revive very quickly. Level 2 now. Both orc heroes are on level 2. So Big Master again charged with slowing the expo down. And it's going to be able to cancel this once again very nicely. Focus is an expert at this. And now Shadon are getting important solo experience. Circle is always nice. And this is going to be the level 3 for him. And just as the Shadon gets level 3 for the Serpent Wards, Moon starts to transition into Archers. High level play here by both. Still a pretty even game. I think. Probably something for the creep jack here. At the marketplace. It's a lot of piercing down from this camp. Hunts take a lot of damage if they're the ones tanking it. The tank of gold mine is about to finish. Moon doesn't want to misstep. He knows that if he gets caught in a bad position with a lot of Serpent Wards around, his hunts are gonna suffer hard. Again, quick with the 1-1 upgrades. I like this. Very beneficial for the Hunts Archers. And Moon has to concede the middle. Mining begins only now. Orc expansion has South Production. Two minutes away from being up. Who knows he has to bring Wisps again for the detonate against the mirror images. Detonate's ready to hit on a lot of the Shaman here as well and the Shadow Hunter. Lots of mana drained. Also, no mirror images were summoned. Supply is very even though. The Serpent Board at this point in the game, very, very strong. Especially against the archers. Moon is microing his army here a little bit. And Alchemist in trouble as well. Been caught with the ensnare, has to TP right away. Late Master, oh, in trouble also! Oh, and he goes down! With the entangle, perfectly timed. The Shaman didn't have enough mana because of the previous detonates. Couldn't purge that entangle away. Nice play by Moon, sees the one opportunity to kill the Blade Master. Expensive res, no focus. We got the heal wards earlier, which are always amazing. Using them right now, he's got one charge left of heal ward. And he's getting center control. Gonna pick up the heal scroll here. In a moment. Moon at 57 supply. Oh, and Focus might not get the heal scroll actually. He's a bit broke.
Moon Owl, however, doesn't have that much mana. Doesn't have a shop still. Lots of upgrades though on his units. Hunt and Archer is about to be on 2-1. They are on 2-1. Also with the uh, improved Glaives upgrade or whatever it's called. Trying to get level 3 Alchemist, which now he does. Replenishment Potion, used right away. Heal spray is there. And Focus coming back for the next attack. He's got the Invuln this time. Also a Mana Potion on the Shadow. Focus might get surprised here with the angle of attack. Wisp coming out for the Detonates. Once more, hitting the heroes primarily. That was a lot of mana drain. Moonwell about to go down though. And that is a supply block on Moon. Can't produce now for a long time. Unless he loses a bunch of units, I guess. Hunter's the first kill in this fight. Traded for a raider. But remember also, lots of wisps here had to be detonated. That's expensive as well. And Focus has now fully caught up in supply. 60 versus 60. Game is looking better and better for Focus now. Chill on a close to level 4 as well. That's a big level up. Moon also low on lumber. Having to use these wisps all the time. Oh, got the double heal scroll though. That is very good. Orc army only 0-1 upgrades. Focus is relying though on strong heroes and strong they are indeed. Finally, we're gonna see some mirror images. And at the moment, there seems to be no wisps nearby to get off some detonates here. And trying to fall back. Heal scroll used. Re-engage. So waiting for the heal spray. There it is, but the ensnare should be ready. Yep, interrupted there right away. Akim is in a bad position as well. Akim might just be going down here. Trying to save himself with the heal scroll. Big Master's coming, looking for the kill. Purge is there, and that's more killed as well. On the Night of side, however, Alchemist will be going down, but it's taking a long time to kill him. Finally, he falls. Both heal scrolls on the Night of side used up. Check out level 4, though. It's a lot of healing now as well, and the shop is ready this time at the expansion. Focus seems to be in prime position here to win this fight now. Mirror Images again. So hard to break through the front line. Keeper trying to staff out, but does not have the time. And that is going to do it. GG. Focus wins map two in a well-played game. Look like Moon there had quite a lot of things going for himself. The Creepjack with the staff on the Wisp was beautiful killing the shadow hunter but i think primarily the problem was the expo timing just seemed too late i wonder if the tree of life was made a little too late there it kind of felt like it I'm not sure if he could have afforded it a little bit earlier but that's good news good news for us because we get to go to map number three and the map choice will be twisted meadows this is focus's pick by the way I know that Focus was fond of this map for a long time in this matchup, but of course it's Moon who is most legendary on Twisted Meadows. So Moon shouldn't mind too much either. Yeah, yesterday we had a lot of 2-0s. It was only 2-0s yesterday. It was a surprisingly short day with Lin and Blade being victorious in the end. Lin absolutely dominated Group B yesterday. Focus, another top orc, uh, looking very strong as well, but not utterly dominant. We've seen Moon here put up a good fight, and it's been a very, very even series so far. Hopefully that continues on map three. And I think it might already be visible that Moon is in better shape again, which is good news for all the Moon and Night Elf fans out there. Twisted Meadows might bring a different strategy, though it doesn't have to. I know that many Night Elves, especially Colorful and Kaho, like bears a lot on this map. Also Demon Hunter play. But Moon, really not that big of a Demon first player in this matchup. In any matchup, I guess, really. 
Let's see what we get. Focus in the top left here, perhaps setting up a lab creep with the rock golem. Moon the bottom right, taking a bit of a creeping risk here, right? With the Ancient of War at the Murkab, that is pretty greedy. If this gets harassed right away, this could quickly become painful. Though it focuses concern with his own creeping at the start, this might still go smoothly. Keeper and Blade. Once again. We do have a peon scout for focus. Oh, he might be a little bit too late though to see this creep happening if he wants to interfere. Oh, or is the timing just perfect? The peon might just perfectly see the creeps in the middle of the map. I'm not sure what precisely he spotted. We'll see where the blade master goes next. All right, looks like Focus Indeed is trying to go for the Rock Golem pull. If the Wisp interferes here, this can be pretty annoying as well. But Moon doesn't have the Wisp in the right spot. Oh, traps both the Golems. I'm not sure if this was intentional, but if he gets both, that's really good for experience. And of course, the Muddy, muddy Mud Golem is easy to kill. Take a little bit more damage here, but not much. Oh, again with a deny! Why do orcs keep doing this? So greedy with the burrow. Denied the last hit. I've seen this way too many times, dude. I swear to God. This happens like 40% of the time when orcs do this. It's an amazing item for the Blade Master. Ring of the Arc Magi. But that was 120 points of experience. Lost. How do orcs still do this? How are they still this greedy? I've seen this happen to focus a bunch of times before. And not just him. Also other orcs. And they still do it. Unbelievable. That is such a pain in the balls. The experience difference here is ridiculous. And now the Keeper can control the map and should normally be able to set up an expansion pretty easy. Next time Focus does this, I'm going to fly to Korea, give him a smack. Going for the Mercs here though. Early Dispel now from the Shadow Priest, good speed throw as well to save him. Focus has a pretty strong army right now, but still a very underleveled. Blade Master. Trying to force the TP. That shouldn't really work either. Uh, can it? Oh! Well, Heal Potion is there. Keeper is safe. That also saves a lot of Moon Juice. I like that usage of the Heal Pot there. And the Keeper is just running around the middle. Keeping Focus busy. Expanding in the meantime. Smart play by Moon. And this time also, I think the Night of Tech isn't as far behind as we saw before on Northern Isles. That seemed to be a big problem there. Okay, circle and staff for the blade. Ooh, he might actually find this tree. And so far there's no staff on the keeper, though he should get one now. I think he's at the shop. Yep, yeah, he is. And the staff, wait, the staff is going somewhere else. The staff is not going to the tree? What? Moon staff to his army? And not to the tree? 
And so it's gonna be a cancel. Oh, what? What? Maybe he was catching, uh, he was hoping to catch the enemy army with the staff, but there was no one there to be found. Oh, that's a big mistake. Right now. That slows down the expansion immensely. And now forces him to not go expo, but rather yours. Alchemist and dryads, I guess it will be. Moon is very good at thinking quick on his feet and making adjustments on the fly. Great positioning here for creeping the focus. He's got the Shadow Priest in the back, ready to dispel whatever is needed. If Moon could somehow get to Bears, Focus wouldn't be in the best position to deal with them. Against Bears, you really need Walkers normally. These are not available to Focus right now. It's only Shaman from the Tier 2 buildings. Oh, and the Mirror Man scouted the main. But may not have seen... He may not have seen the Lores, actually. Very nice play though with Shadow Priest. Perfect position for the Shadow Priest here. Oftentimes overlooked. But positioning your army perfectly can go a long way. Blade Master wants to get the last hit, and he does get it. I think the Alchemist got the item. Yeah, he did. Ring plus four, very good for him. Ring and belt. Very tanky now. Yeah, I'm not sure if Focus saw the lures. Moon smartly made them proxy. And the Dryad has not yet been revealed. Oh, now he knows though. Now the Blade Master sees. Sees the Dryad knows something's up. Don't the invuln. Alk gets the dust. Love to get some solo experience here. Committing with the invul potion, but doesn't get the last hit, doesn't get the item, goes to the alchemist. And of course, we'll be selling the rune bracers. Seems like expanding now wouldn't be very smart for focus because Moon is on the way. Focus needs to go for defense mode. Oh, he's still expanding though. He is doing it. Alright, that looks ballsy. Moon going for more mercs. 54 supply for him. Hunts, Dryads, and Mercs. Aggressive stance here by Moon. Plan A expansion didn't work, so instead we go Plan B. Davai. And of course, once we have Abolish, which we do actually, the Mirror Images aren't much of a concern. Moon's not using the Dispel at the moment, though. Where's the Dispel? Green's being summoned off to the side. There's the Dispel. We see it right away. Very effective against Mirror Images. Army very hurt now. Hard to get away from the dryads as well. Of course, the slow poison here stacking up. Another grand falls. Focus dropping in supply. Moon's not expanding behind this. He's not taking behind this. He's putting everything into this attack right here. More trains again. Shaman cannot keep up with the dispel. This might be two millions about to die. Dude, the dryad slow is looking wonderful here. The Expo Cancel might have been a blessing in disguise because this Dryad play is working out very well so far for Moon. We do have an Orc expansion coming up in the meantime. But if Moon finds it, it's gonna be an easy kill. Oh, Beast Area also falling. It means no more Raiders. Double Burzies, by the way. Really good on Moon. Great DPS. And Moon is checking for the expansion. Gonna lead to a cancel here right away. But since Moon doesn't have tier 3, and since he doesn't have an expansion, this is still a winnable game for Focus if he can again stabilize. If he gets back up to 50 supply, 
If he gets to 4-4 four, four heroes, this orc duo of heroes is very, very strong. This time, though, he should certainly be going crit. I hope. Moon doesn't want to give focus any more time. He's committing all in push into the main base. The boys are falling. There's no reinforced defenses without cement. They are made of paper. And with an AP as well. Alchemist now. Almost level 3. Finally, a Berserker caught with the Ensnare. Would love to take that one out. Big Master should be able to get that kill. With a bit of courage help. Even the Ancient of War made it here. Nature's Blessing helping out these Ancients a lot. And the AP is about to be ready. Can anchor next to the burrow. Try to take that one out. Try to take the shop out. White Focus didn't ha even have a war mill until now. Now it's only being made. Reinforced defenses, or even just a demolisher, seem very far away. Alchemist sent to the shop, trying to get a heal scroll, perhaps. Would love to see some wisps here for repair for them. Lots of lumber already. Alright, Alchemist got the items. Now he's staffing back. Nice setup. Engine of one front. Blocking very well. And the first AP already firing the second one. Soon to be finished. Seven supply lead. Plus a bunch of APs. More more drinks being summoned as well. This time the shaman should have the mana to deal with them. Purges are needed quickly. Ancient of War at least goes down, but also the Archivist made it to level 3. Pretty tanky still. It's hard to get a grip on these dryads, nimble as they are. Acid Bomb doing good work here. Archivist is low mana, but the new Acid Bomb will be ready before too long. He'll scroll here as well. Beautifully timed by Moon. Nicely healing everything up again. Dried Micro is, as always, impeccable. Keeper just got level 4. Hasn't skilled yet. Going for the Blade Master now, but... Oh, that one didn't work. Trying to force the TP here. Moon is gonna use it. Invuln! Oh my god, passing. At the last second. TP might still be needed, though. Heavy hero focus attempts here. TP out. Trying to get the Alchemist instead. But he just barely gets away. And Focus does somehow hold, actually. I didn't think he would, but he indeed could do it. With lots of hero focus, but lots of Focus's army has melted away. And the APs are still seeing it, I guess. He sees there's only one AP, the two heroes and two shamans. Basically it. Follow-up attack from Moon here could be deadly. We see a 25 supply lead on the Night Elf. These items on the Alchemist, by the way, really good for this kind of a strat. For the Chemical Rage, Acid Bomb, Frontliner strat. Going for the Red Camp here as well. Moon taking his time. Bit of a pit stop at the creep. Best item here. Not even sure what it would be. Out of Darkness. I think that's actually not too bad, for once. Put it on the Keeper or the Alchemist, I guess both are okay. And try to get kills with it, try to raise skellies with it. It's not insane, but I think it could be kind of good. For creeping, of course, it's excellent. Accuracy, even more damage. Alchemist down level 4, we're gonna have level 2 Chemical Rage. Rage against the Orc Machine. Tome of Strength. 42 strength on this Alchemist. 1200 HP. Would be sick if we could also get like a Talisman of Evasion. Make him even more tanky. Old Darkness would also be good for the Blade Master here. He gets the Staff of Silence. Which is terrible actually against mass dryads. Completely useless. 
Oh, and Moon brought a wisp up here. He might be expanding next to the Orc base. I don't know why he would do that instead of the bottom left base, but... Fair enough. Are they finally gonna get level 4 here? Or at least get very close? Dude, Focus Army still looking laughable. In the meantime, by the way, Moon did make it to tier 3. And bears are about to be ready. And as mentioned, there's no Spirit Walker tech ready to deal with the bears. Plus also demolishers. Don't do much. If you can hit the dryads perfectly, which is a, a big if, then against dryads they're good. And against hunts. But against bears they don't do anything. Three demos, by the way. What the hell? That seems like way too many demos. Like, two is already, like, possibly too much, but three demos? I think that's just a mistake. I think Mo Focus didn't realize when he had two demos that he was making another. Now the bear tech is gonna be... Very strong. How much damage do you have in the outfit? Oh, this is without chemical rage. Dependent of energy here, the item. He's gonna sell that. Orb of Venom bought, Orb of Darkness sold. And focus on the island. Playing a very defensive late game here. Focus very much aware that. It's not the best spot right now. My up here is about to get level 5. I wonder... Should the Keeper retrain for level 3 Thorns? Ah, it's probably not worth it. Level 3 Treants is also pretty good. It's so hard for the Shaman to keep up with that many Treants. Moon is playing a one base bear game. That seems rare. Turtle up back at home. Keep a level five. Alchemist about to be level five. Moon fully slotted. And the mains are expiring soon, by the way. Two minutes. of evasion hell yeah look at that alchemist dude he is so stupidly tanky he must have like 1500 hp by now 10 armor and evasion i want to see the arc where is he click on him 1300 hp okay 1300 almost 12 armor Moon's got too many items, he can't even pick them all up. Picked up the robe of the Magi now. We are taking our time. And Focus is building a big, big army. If he gets enough Kodos... Maybe he can beat the bear army. We got a tree of life coming up. Top right, I think it is. And soon, the tree of eternity can start moving.
think selling the second ring was kind of a mistake, to be honest. But then again, you know, it's so, so hard to... Perfectly distribute the items with our third hero. The thing is, if lots of units die, Moon has great ultimates waiting for him. The Orc, not so much. And it's a big fight indeed. Focus. It says he has way more supply, but right now on the field it looks like Moon has a huge army here. Lots of Treants involved as well. Alchemist is off to the side, chasing for more kills. 5.1 though. Knight of Heroes aren't really getting closer to ultimates at all so far. Seems like a great start for the Orc up until this point. Kodos though didn't get to eat all of the bears. Moon's gonna TP out now. Doesn't like the look of things anymore. Saving all of the units here on low HP. And the Demolishers did better than I thought they would, to be honest. I wonder if the Alchemist should just be running behind the Demolishers in the back, you know. Just trying to take them out. Focus still with a big army. But the classic Moon Mass Expo game is beginning. We have Trees of Life coming up everywhere. And one of them is going to be taken out right here. Focus has got way more experience in that fight. Close to double level 5 now. Moon wants to take another fight though. But he's greatly down in supply right now. I wonder if this is a mistake by Moon. Does not have a TP. Keeper with an invuln. No heal scroll though this time. He's coming out for the detonate. Trooper Kodos. Just devoured one of the dryads. Okay, off we go once again. This tree of life is gone. Whips can now help with the detonate again. Two quick kills on the grunts right away, taking them out right away indeed. And more are gonna fall. Where are the heat waves? Shadowhunter didn't use any of the heat waves only now, but it's five grunt kills. Super fast. Both Knight of Heroes now on 5.5, but it's Blade Master who got the level 5 as well. And the crit right away, showing the possibilities. Moon didn't move the Tree of Life, uh, Tree of Eternity, by the way. That one is still parked in the main. Seems like Moon is banking on ultimates right now. 5.6 on both heroes. He's far away. From the olds. And those level 3 separate words are scary, dude. Good game here for a third map decider. Good series. Both playing really well. Close match here that we have to our hands. But with the expansion also going down, it looks like Focus has the lead here now. We never got any upgrades, by the way. 0-0. Zero, zero on bears and dryads, which is kind of a problem. When oh, there's two bears getting devoured right now. Ooh, that's eight supply, about to die. Giving focus a huge supply lead. Why is he's got the new expansion coming up? Very strong comeback here by focus. When I saw the three demos, I thought he was done for. I guess he's able to make him work. Thank you, fell her with the resub. Trying to take out the last night of mining base, although there is a new one coming up. Damage output just doesn't seem that high. We have a lot of treants that were summoned. And the next bear goes down. That was the last one. Another one's about to get devoured. The orc heroes seem to be close to overtaking the night of inexperience. This game is totally turned on its head. Focus. Seems like he won't be losing this win streak against Moon today. 
five game win streak ahead of today. Moon here in a desperate spot. 25 supply behind. He needed those ults. He needed them way earlier. Couldn't get him though. Mike Hawk, with the, one of your donations as well. Thank you. Nakam is trying his best with the level 3 acid bomb, but if there's no follow-up damage, then it's not that impressive, really. Moon, of course, has to hold here. This is a true of eternity. This is the only source of income. He's not repairing. Moon! Oh, repair starts only now. Tree at 600. And the Whisker coming out for the detonates. Lots of Wisps here, though. Last stand for Moon. If you lose this fight, the game is certainly over. Treant's providing the front line. We hear some grunts dying as well, but Moon has to fall back once again. One bear dead already. Tree of Eternity taking lots of damage. The demo is partly wasting their damage, perhaps. 5.8. On the Night of Heroes. Can he get enough? The Serpent Wards are also providing more experience if he can at some point kill them. Which so far he hasn't been able to. Alchemist with a Chemical Rage. Can he provide the damage? Finally. Nice heal. Heal wave there as well. Moon has almost nothing left. Total Beast still gonna get killed. Bear returns. Grunt as well. Get the ultimate! Double ult! Transmute right away. Deals with one of the Demolishers. But there's still two demos on the field, and the tree is about to fall. No repair. No repair. Trying to heal with a tranquility. But the Tree of Eternity goes down. The ults coming online too late. Cannot save Moon anymore. GG is called in focus with a strong comeback. In a really cool series. Takes this series for himself.